Welcome to my YouTube channel MSN by RC. I am happy to announce you that I am going to be add one more category in my YouTube channel that is nursing emergency management. So in that I am going to be discuss the algorithm. The first condition which I am going to be discuss is COPD. So before that, one question came in my mind that time when we read the books or when we are going to be work in the hospital area when the patient came with the complaint of COPD we are not giving too much amount of oxygen in these cases so doctor is going to be tell us and even we, in the books we read that we have to be keep the saturation between the 88 to 92 percent so when the patient came with the saturation of 88 86 87 in the general condition we give more 10 liter of oxygen with the PM mask with the oxygen mask but in the COPD patients, we are limit the oxygen. So why to limit this oxygen in COPD cases? So before that, we are going to be discuss the general physiology of respiration. So basically we have the trachea, we have the bronchus, we have the terminal bronchioles, and then we have the alveolar sac, we have the alveoli. So where the actual uh, gas exchange takes place? At so gas exchange takes place at the alveoli level, correct? So what happens from the right side of the heart, from the right ventricle, blood goes to the pulmonary area, correct? And then what will be occur at the level of alveoli? The exchange of carbon dioxide will be takes place, correct? And then the oxygen which is came inside, when the alveoli get contract, it will be go inside the pulmonary circulation again and now this oxygenated blood goes to the left atrium and from left atrium it goes to the left ventricle and from left ventricle is go to the overall body so this is normally takes place but but in the COPD cases what will be occur there is a two conditions in the COPD what is that one is a chronic bronchitis and other condition is emphysema correct so in the COPD we have chronic bronchitis and emphysema because of chronic bronchitis the airway become inflamed the airway become inflamed and this inflamed airway have narrow passage with the some amount of mucus and then because of emphysema what will be occur the elasticity of this airway and the alveoli is going to be lost and then what will be occur the alveoli become over inflated the lung become over inflated then what will be occur the elasticity is not there the lung is not going to be have the elasticity then what will be after the contractility power the contracting property of these cells becomes lost and then there will be no any contractions takes place over there there will be no movement of the gases will be takes place over here so in this condition what will be occur so this is COPD alveoli COPD lung now the CO2 is entered over here. The oxygen is also there. Right? The oxygen is also there. The oxygen came from here. Now to enter in the pulmonary circulation, they should have the elastic property. They do have the elastic property in the COPD cases? No. Then what will be occur? Then this CO2 build up to remain trapping of air will be takes place now this part of the alveoli is not going to be work and then cause dead space no any exchange takes place in these areas only the over inflamed type of the airways are there over inflamed type of the alveoli are there there is no any exchange takes place over there do we have the dead space yes we have the dead space in our lungs but when we are going to be work faster when we are going to be do the activities the, this type of the dead space we, we are going to be use 
our lungs are going to be used. But in the COPD cases, because of this pathology, the dead space are increased. Now, because of this dead space, CO2 is increased in these areas. And this CO2 is going to be cause vasoconstriction. So because of that CO2, what occurs? Vasoconstrictions. Okay. So as per we see, increased CO2 leads to vasoconstriction. Now consider these are the affected, means over inflamed uh, alveolized where CO2 is retained, where the CO2 is retained. Now this CO2 will be create the vasoconstriction of what? Of the pulmonary circulation. So the pulmonary circulation will be occurs. What will be occurs with the pulmonary circulation? Vasoconstriction. Then automatically what happens? The blood which is flowing to that area will go to the other healthy area. So the compensation takes place. Compensation takes place over here. Means what? The affected lung area in the alveoli CO2 is going to be increased. And this CO2 is going to be create vasoconstriction along the pulmonary circulation. Then that area will not work. We call dead space. Then the blood which is flowing, flowing previously from that dead space goes to the healthy area. So that is called as a compensation. So this vasoconstriction is called as pulmonary hypoxic vaso constriction also called as phv so because of that phv the blood from that affected area goes to the healthy area the compensation will be takes place so this pathology occurs in the copd lung now what you did when the patient came to the hospital in the emergency department you saw the saturation is how much? The SpO2 is 87 and you started 10 liter of O2. So you started 10 liter of O2, the oxygen, 10 liter of oxygen entered. So the 10 liter of oxygen entered. Here the lungs is affected. There is no any exchange takes place. But because of this oxygen, what will be occur? The vasoconstriction which is takes place over here is going to be removed. The effect of this PHV, pulmonary hypoxic constriction, vasoconstriction will be removed. And then what will be occur? The blood from the healthy circulation will enter back to this unhealthy circulation. Means to the affected area of the lung. Then what will be takes place? So see, the blood will be flow to the affected area of the lungs. Now what will be takes place? This is over inflamed alveoli. This is unelastic alveoli. This is the alveoli which is not going to be work. So air trap is there, CO2 is there. Now the O2 is also comes over there. But whether the exchange will be takes place? No, no exchange will be takes place because these lungs, this alveoli is not working and the blood from the healthy area goes to the affected area. Now, the, this blood will flow back to the affected area. So, this blood is contain CO2, right? So, CO2 blood comes here, CO2 is not going to be exchanged, oxygen is not going to be entered back. Again, the CO2 blood will go to the which side? right atrium and then it goes to the right ventricle and this CO2 blood will go to the overall body. See what will be occurs with our body when we are going to be take back the unoxygenated blood? We call as hypercapnia. See the relation you given the oxygen correct? You given the oxygen to the patient. You given oxygen to the patient 10 liter. Still 
Blood contains the more amount of CO2 because of this pathology. So, so you got the answer. If the patient is COPD and if you are going to give more amount of oxygen, it will not help. It will be worsen the condition because of these affected pathologies. We will take quick review of this pathology. Okay, so at so at start what I said, I told about general cell, uh, general respiration where the actual respiration takes place at the alveoli level. So you have the heart from the heart which side right side of, right side of the ventricles blood goes to the lungs. The alveoli level what will be occur capillaries are there capillary beds are there. So CO2 will be goes in the capillary oxygen will be enters to the capillary back means capillary pulmonary capillary back. Now this oxygenated blood comes to the left atrium from left atrium goes to the left ventricle from left ventricle to overall body in the copd what occur two condition i told one is a chronic bronchitis and second is what yes emphysema so in the chronic bronchitis my bronchus is inflamed my in, and along with that what is there mucus is there so my bronchus is inflamed with the mucus then what will be occur the movement of air will not take place which is which has to be occurs normally then what? Second condition I told emphysema. So in the emphysema what occurs? So elastic property of the lungs is going to be lost and the lungs become hyperinflated. Alveoli become hyperinflated. Now consider in that area of the, consider this is my whole lung and in that lung area one part is completely hyperventilated as compared to the other part of the alveoli. Now, in this hyperinflated alveoli, what will be occurs? The, the oxygen will come inside, the carbon dioxide from the capillary will enter in that and then what will be occur? Oxygen will not enter back because it lose the elastic property. Then CO2 will be retained in that area and now this CO2 will be cause what? Vasoconstriction at the pulmonary circulation. Now, this vasoconstriction leads to what? What we call this vasoconstriction? Pulmonary hypoxic vasoconstriction, PHV. And what is the effect of it? The blood, blood from that affected area moves to the healthy area. So my lungs compensate, my COPD lung compensate and it goes to the healthy area. Now in the healthy area, what takes place? The exchange will be takes place, but it is not up as a normal person. Now, then we discuss about one condition that patient came with the saturation of 86 and you started the 10 liter of oxygen in this case. So my this area is affected and you given 10 liter of O2. So O2 is coming inside and saturated in the lungs. Now what will be occurred? The constricted pulmonary circulations over there will be open back. But the affected alveoli is going to be healed? No. This is permanent change. Then what will be occur? There is no any exchange will take place. Only the blood will come and go. Then there is no any exchange will take place in that area. So the, so the carbon dioxide from that blood will not move out from the respiratory system. It will be goes back to the circulation. And because of that your CO2 will be high. In spite of giving more amount of oxygen. So this type of the patient will develop thirst dry. Why? Because of hypercapnia. So when you CO2 is going to be increasing that much amount, then it will be triggered your medulla oblongata for more amount of air hunger. So your all the muscles which is helping for the respiration is going to be do more work. But what will be the effect of it? The affected area will not work and then at the point your all the muscles are going to be get fatigued and then what will be occur with that patient? The jerky movement you may see, the patient is going to be do the respiration like <sighs> so he try, try to struggle a lot for the air movement but there is no any help to the patient and then uh, and then eventually patient is lined up into the respiratory failure 
so do you understood the connection between giving the more amount of oxygen and developing the more amount of carbon dioxide see because of that we are going to be limit the oxygen in the copd cases in the next video we are going to be discuss the algorithm of managing copd cases thank you